Hello, this is Omega with yet another technology demonstrator in Minecraft. A lot of station builders have run into the issue where when you're returning a cart from your destination to your departure station, it crosses a uh, loaded chunk boundary. This is a long-distance trade-back device that gets around the problem of unloaded chunks. Uh, coming up here is a trade-back device, one of several along the path from the departure station to the destination station. Each trade-back device sends a trade-back cart a short distance from one trade back device to another. Uh, this short distance is within the loaded chunk distance. I have these trade back devices about 10 chunks apart. Um, that seems to be pretty close to the limit. Um, it's better for the system if you don't have uh, the full number of minecarts. Uh, for instance, uh, the capacity of this particular system is uh, hmm, I actually haven't written down the capacity. Uh, there's one less minecart in the system than it can handle, uh, which is uh, why one of the trade back devices will always be empty, uh, and which one that is always changes. Uh, the system just works a little better if it's not completely full. So you can see that the cart sort of grabs onto the trade back cart and sends it along backwards while the player occupied cart continues to move forwards. So stations can be any number of chunks apart. You could have stations that complete opposite ends of your world with just a bunch of trade back devices in between and neither of your far-flung stations will ever run out of carts even if you do uh, only travel one way or travel predominantly one way. So we're going to take a little look at how these tradeback devices are constructed. Their design resembles the uh, two-way resetting booster. They take carts from this overflow Pez dispenser. It sends them along this track that goes next to the inbound track. So it sends them backwards next to the inbound track to this trade back device. And the trade back device is essentially a modified uh, two way resetting booster. So this cart would get grabbed by the player occupied cart and it would go down this track and then it would come back, loop around here and continue on to the next trade back device. I have the trade back track stepped up one from the main track so they don't collide accidentally. If we 
you see the trade back track is above the boost section here. And this trade back device is identical to the last one. Normally, I would have secondary boosters along the uh, trade back track, but this trade back track is completely flat, so it doesn't need one. Uh, for future designs, I would recommend a shorter boost section and more heavily relying on uh, secondary boosters. Um, because there's not always a guarantee that the player-occupied cart will line up well with the uh, trade-back cart. And once a trade-back cart makes its way down the line, it eventually rejoins the incoming track at the next station. And that is the long-distance tradeback device. Thanks for watching, guys.